This video picks up where we left off in the last update, having just finished installing the metal roofing and glass on the Earthship Tiny House. It also included an awesome live demo with Ron, filled with pro tips on glass installation, so if you missed out on that, there's a link in the description. Like I said in last week's video, there are a ton of intricate metal details required to get this roof over the finish line, and in this video, I don't intend to cover all of them. There is so much more I would like to cover inside the house as we begin to work on the exciting finishing touches. But let me know if that's something you would like to see more of in the comments below, and if there is enough interest, I'll make a dedicated series covering metal roofing. But for now, here's a brief overview. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. We began by insulating and waterproofing the east and west walls. And the vent box openings. Then we installed metal flashing over the vapor barrier in the areas that are going to be buried. This protects the foam insulation from the elements, including any critters that might want to chew through the walls. The gutters were fabricated on site and installed on the north side. We connected them to the cisterns in preparation for harvesting rainwater and snow melt. Meanwhile, on the front face, we flashed the facade around the doors and above the windows, fabricating the custom pieces on site with our 12-foot metal bender, also known as a brake. Having access to a brake makes metalwork much more adaptable. Instead of relying entirely on prefabricated pieces, you can buy flat stock and make anything you need. Around the windows, we waterproofed the remainder of the exposed wood with an adhesive membrane. We were nervous working around the windows, knowing that it's a delicate process and accidents can always happen. In the end, we weren't able to prevent the inevitable and ended up breaking a pane of glass anyways. Even though tempered glass can withstand direct impacts on its face, one blow to the edge or corner can shatter the entire pane. In this case, it was a blow to the edge of the glass with the stapler that led to the carnage. Now let's watch that again in slow-mo. It sound right, boy. This set us back slightly when it came time to install the mullion caps, a frame of thick metal that waterproofs the windows. Once the mullion caps are set, the windows are sealed. However, with the pane broken, we had to wait to finish the job. In the meantime, I worked on building and installing the operable vent box lids, and I could make a whole video just about that. But for now, here's the short version. We cut the foam and added a 2x4 where the hinges will connect. To the bases. Then we wrapped the bases in sheet metal and began fabricating the lids. The lids are framed and insulated with a layer of metal flashing on the underside. This helps shed moisture that builds up on the inside of the lid from the humidity in the greenhouse as hot air rises. I wrapped the outside of the box in a waterproofing membrane and then metal flashing. The lid is designed to have a basket on the backside, which you can fill with weights so that it opens by itself without motors or gearboxes. One opens the vent from the inside using a rope that hangs down in the greenhouse. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so it works out. But moving back to the front face, the broken window was finally replaced and we were able to install the mullion caps an unforgiving process in which each plate of metal is glued down to the glass with a thick bead of tar putty called butyl tape. There are no second chances. Once the frame is set, you can't peel it off, unless you really f***ed up. We took our time and everything went smoothly, 
Stepping back at the end of the day, our work looked great. The next day, it was time to hang the door. A triumphant moment to be a part of. A moment that marked measurable progress. A moment that stood out from the daily grind and became a measurement of how far we had just come. From dirt to doorknob. Literally. Our journey started in a pile of dirt, and after months of hard work, we just installed the doorknob. Well, that's it for this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more work to be done. And as always, I'll be here to keep you up to speed as we move inside and start making this house a home.